You called for it. Peterson finally did it. I want to give a shout out to the Eagles defense. Peterson said it was a team effort. They had five sacks, including three in the fourth quarter that put a ton of pressure on Hill. But you were asking for Hurts out of the gate. You saw it. You got it. Why is there any indecision? I have no idea, Zubin. Hearing that sound got me so frustrated because I just want Doug Peterson to give this man his flowers. He was electrifying. Multiple people on the team said that there was a different energy on the field. Did you see that pass he threw to the back shoulder of Alshon Jeffries fourth and two in the second quarter early in the second quarter? It was an incredible pass, right? He kept so many plays alive and I, I give you this Carson Wentz led the league in sacks 50 times. He's been sacked the next closest player Russell Wilson at 40. I walked away last night saying Jalen Hurston gets sacked one damn time. I don't understand. You don't have to say he's going to be your starter, but why can't you say this team plays different? I am proud of the way Jalen Hurts came out today. Even after he fumbled the ball late in the game, the way he recovered, the way our team recovered, it just seemed like Doug Peterson made everything about just the team all the time. And I get that. I know that's coaches speak, but just give this man his flowers. He deserved it against the Saints, one of the best defenses we have in the NFL. Well, I think, look, when you, I, I'm not looking for flowers, okay? I'm happy that Jalen Hurst was able to get on the field. I'm happy that he performed at the level that he performed at. You don't want to kick a man when he's down. You know, giving him his flowers is just stepping on Carson Wentz even more. Oh. And I don't think you need to do that. We all know that Jalen Hurst is a starter moving forward, and you're going to take this thing week to week. Next week, you'll come out on Wednesday or Tuesday, and you say, hey, Jalen Hurts is the starter moving forward when you have your presser. The game is just ended. So I don't believe that he needed to say anything. It speaks for itself. If you watch that game and you don't realize or understand that Jalen Hurts is the starting quarterback probably the remainder of the season, then you don't know what you're looking at. You're looking at a guy that accounted for 270-plus yards, one through, one through the air, the other on the ground. And it's so funny and ironic, and I was having a conversation with some people yesterday and they was like, oh, he only threw for a buck 60 something. I said, but he ran for 106. If Carson Wentz had thrown for 270, you would say it's a great game. Now you split some on the ground, some in the air. It's question marks. I hate that. Those are the sort of things that that doesn't make me happy. When I look at how he's getting the yards and people still deflecting and saying, well, it's not through the air. Okay, well, 276 part of 270 some odd yards is part of your total yardage. Who gives a damn? You got the W, and he'll be the starter next week. Keyshawn Johnson, you and I have had so many conversations. We make fun of each other all the time. You tell me all the time. Now, you don't have to worry about me. I'm not delicate. I'm not sensitive. Now you're telling me that Doug Peterson is worried about the state of mind of Carson Wentz after they beat the Eagles and they get a huge win. He's thinking about well, that. I didn't, the know be, I didn't know they could beat the Eagles because they are I mean, the, the Saints. The Saints. You know what I mean. You know, <laughs> stop it. You know what I mean. Don't try to deflect. You're doing what Doug Peterson does. Stop deflecting. Just tell the truth. No, look, Jay, at the end, man, you don't. Uh, he, he, yes, he's sensitive. He's a quarterback. They all sensitive. How many times I got to say this to you? Why kick him when he's already down? Don't need to. He knows he was. You don't think it's for one minute. Carson Wentz was sitting on that sideline going, hmm, huh, my days in Philly might be numbered. Of course he was. He can see it. So why kick him when he's already down? There's no need to do that. You don't have to kick him, but you can at least be supportive of your quarterback that just stepped into a, a, a crazy situation and actually handled it exceptionally well. Yeah. Like, I don't, you don't have to kick somebody while you're down or to build somebody back up, Key. You know, the, the, the two aren't mutually exclusive. You know what I mean? You can still do that in a polite way. That, it just seems that, like he that will happen. It didn't happen in the post-game press conference, but it will happen as he addressed everything this week. They'll ask him about Jalen Hurts again either today or tomorrow, whenever he's scheduled to talk to the media, and he'll give Jalen Hurts some sugar at that time. Everything's calmed down. Now he can talk about Jalen Hurts and how Jalen Hurts performed. He, he had a chance to watch the film. He, he has some things to work on. He certainly is, is headed in the right direction. You know, we want to continue to keep working. All of those cold words. <laughs> you sound so practical and reasonable. Damn it, Keith, this is not who you are. I know who you are inside. <laughs> Zoom in.
Let's go. Last word on this, fellas, would be Jake Elliott missed a chip shot 22-yard field goal near the end of the first half. If he had knocked that in, that would have been another scoring drive for Jalen Hurts because right now with the sample size so small, we're looking at everything. How many passes did he complete? Where is he running? How many drives equaled points? But you can't give him the Jake Elliott because he missed it, but keep in mind a chip shot field goal would have given him another successful scoring drive. Last thing I would just say, the other quarterback, if you watch the two touchdown passes that Taysom Hill threw, Emmanuel Sanders and Jared Cook both had to make unbelievable catches for those to come down as scores and Taysom Hill looked ineffective for the first time. Drew Brees should be back and not a moment too soon, fellas. They got the Kansas City Chiefs coming to town on Sunday. Kansas and oh, by the way, City indeed. Chief. Come on, Drew Brees, get back. <laughs> and we should also mention that the Saints wake up this morning not in first place in the NFC. Their nine-game win streak comes to an end and the Packers are now mm. in first. So if the Steelers have a little bit of a skid going in some ways, so do the Saints in the NFC. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.